it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. <clears throat> I got a frog in my throat. It's the first fresh meat I've had all week. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. That's an old, old joke because I'm old, so I know stuff. <laughs> okay. Today is soup day. And uh, the weather was nice and warm, and it was um, uh, uncommonly warm, like hot and stuff for April. And then it turned cold. Rainy, cold, windy, and we even had a little bit of snow last night. So, it's soup day. Isn't that exciting? I decided I was going to put some soup in the crock pot um, and just, I just rummaged around and found stuff that I already had. And I'm going to make soup out of it. So, and I thought, well, I'm going to just share it with you so that you will know that you can make soup out of all kinds of stuff. Because you know what? If you have the stuff, you probably already like the stuff. And the combination of stuff would probably make a good soup that would feed you for many days and and or feed your family for a day or two. So, let me show you what I got here. I have, I'm going to use my smaller crock pot because, you know, it is just a bois, Robin. And so, I'm just going to use my smaller crock pot. Now, I'll show you what I got. I found these in the back of my freezer. Uh, it's some tomatoes and some peppers and onions. Now, these are left from um, my garden. I think it's the last of what I had in the freezer. I don't know. I'll have to look. Anyway, these are going, this, this is going to go in the soup. I have some leftover pork roast. Not all of this is going to go in the soup, but some of it is going to go in there. And, um, I'm going to save some of it because I see a nice barbecue pork sandwich in my future. <laughs> yes. Or maybe some stir-fried pork from that delicious rice I made yesterday. And I did post that video this morning. So you can see what I do with rice, which is awesome. Okay. And I'm going to add in, I have some chicken broth here. I had a rotisserie chicken. Quick Star on Mondays has rotisserie chicken for $5.99 and it's like almost three pounds. It's like two and a half pounds of chicken. It's delicious. It's awesome. So this is some broth I made out of that what was left of the carcass of the rotisserie chicken I bought last week. And see the little bits in there? That's actually some dehydrated celery. I had a little bit left in a jar and I threw that in. And that's what they and it's delicious. So that is going in the soup. I've got part of a can of tomato juice. And um, that the rest of this is going in the soup as well. I've got um, a couple of cans of black beans that was in my pantry downstairs. I've got a can of fire roasted tomatoes. Um, I'm, it's my last can. I'm going to put that in there because that's lots of flavor in those. I am going to um, add, but not until the very end, I'm going to add this rice, some of this rice that I cooked up yesterday. And it's absolutely delicious. So I'm going to add that to my soup to bulk it up. <clears throat> now keep in mind, I'm winging it here. I'm just winging it, baby. Because you just never know. You never know what Granny's going to do. Okay, now then. <clears throat> these are the spices that I pulled out to enhance my soup. Uh, I have some red pepper flakes. I have some cumin or cumin. I have uh, some paprika left in this little bottle, so that's going to go in, the rest of that. <clears throat> I've got some chili powder. I have some 
onion, onion powder. That'll go in. I don't have any raw onion to put in this, so I'm just relying on all these other things to get me by. Uh, but I do have some minced onion left in this jar, so some of that's going to go in. And I've got the garlic powder. That's going to go in as well. Something different that I'm going to put in, I've had this in the back of my cabinet. It is some car ground cardamom. I'm going to add uh, some of that in the soup as well. I don't use cardamom very much, but I know that it's used in uh, Indian curries and things like that, so I need to use this up, so I'm going to use some of that in the soup. I hear that in the seed form it can be very powerful. It's a little less powerful in the ground form, but I don't know. We will see. And um, so that that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to assemble this in the crock pot, and we'll take a look and see what it looks like before it's cooked. Okie doke. <clears throat> I've got everything in the crock pot except for the rice because my rice is pre-cooked. It has some nice vegetables in it as well and I am uh, not going to add it to the soup until the soup is almost done uh, because I don't want the soup to uh, get overly thick. If you try this and it's not an issue for you, that's fine. But I don't want the rice to be all mushy and um, dissipate. Does that make sense? Okay, so just so you know, I did not use all of the tomato juice because I feel my soup is soupy enough and I want to reserve some of this because sometimes I like to have a nice glass of tomato juice. Um, as far as the spices are concerned, I used um, about a teaspoon of each one that I showed you, including the cardamom, and um, I did uh, actually a teaspoon of the hot pepper flakes as well. The only thing I used quite a bit of is the chili powder which I did put a tablespoon of chili powder in there. So, now then, um, I chunked up some of the, the roast pork, as you can see there, but I didn't make it too small because it's going to uh, break down as this cooks for several hours. So that's it. Um, I'm going to put this in the, put the crock in the, um, in the, um, crock pot because uh, I don't have an outlet new, near here so um, I'm going to uh, plug it in. I have to plug it in on the, my side cabinet. So alright when it's done um, we'll come back and I'll show you what I've got. Oh and just so you know I did drain the beans. I did not rinse them but I drained them. Okay alright um, we'll be back. Okie dokie, the soup is done. I've had this on high for about six hours. Let's see what it looks like. Look at that. That looks really good. And I have to tell you, I took a taste of it about midway and it is delicious. It's rather spicy, which is fine with me. I'm good with that. And I decided not to put the rice in, in the crock pot. I decided that I was going to put the serving of rice in my bowl and then put the soup on top of it. All right, I put a scoop of rice in, right in the middle there. So here's my rice and vegetables. I'm going to take a bite of this delicious soup. Sure, and get some rice in there. It's very hot. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that's really, really good. Oh, that's really good. What I did was <clears throat> because I like something crunchy, I cooked up some corn tortilla 
chips. Actually, it's a corn tortilla that I, I cut into strips and fried up. Some of them are a little overdone, but I don't care. They're delicious. So I'm going to eat these with my soup. All right, that's it. Now listen, why did I show you this today? The reason I have shown you this is because I want you to look around your house, see what you have that you can make soup out of. I didn't buy anything special. I didn't do anything special. It's just a bunch of random ingredients that I put in the crock pot and put on high and cooked for six hours. And now I have a beautiful, nutritious soup. This is going to be my supper. So think about that. What do you have in the house? What do you have that you can feed yourself a delicious soup with. Think about it. Look around your home. You probably have a lot of things that you don't even realize, that you don't think about on a daily basis. Shop at home and make something delicious for yourself. Okay? All right. That's it, you guys. I love you. You know I do. And you know that little is much when God is in it. Okay? I love you. And I hope that you will give something like this a try. It's not a recipe. It's just use what you have. All right. Love ya. Bye-bye.